Why do I feel so weird sitting here? But hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a mukbang. Rather than asking on my Instagram, this time I asked on my YouTube what you guys wanted to see. What's my food? Oh my God, my food's arrived like 20 minutes early. Not that I'm complaining, but um, before, before I set it up, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I asked if you guys would rather see an Indian takeaway or a McDonald's and I had like over 3,000 votes and 60, 63% of you said an Indian takeaway. So here I am. I also asked for questions. So thank you to everyone who left questions. I'm going to go and plate this up and then we can get eating. Oh, before we do, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Cheers. Right guys, I've got my dinner. So normally I get korma, but I thought for the sake of the video, well actually I used to get korma, then I moved to tikka, then I went back to korma. So I haven't had tikka in a long time. So I thought, you know what? Get a tikka because I bet everyone rips me in the comments if I get a korma. So I got a tikka. So I thought I'd swap it up. Um, I got papadoms, onion barges, and a plain naan bread. Oh, and a beer because I feel like everyone has beer with a curry and like i'm also on my holidays i've got six days off work so i need a hairband i can't eat something like this with my hair right down one minute much better i hope that you guys can see me okay and the lighting's not bad i just wanted this to be a super chill video because i've come on my period and i'm not feeling great i was this close to not filming but i had a nap and i woke up and i was like right now you can do this I woke up with an appetite. You know some days on your period you want to eat everything and then other days you're like, no. Also, I don't like to mix my rice. I like to mix it as I go because I don't actually really like rice. The only time I would ever order rice is with an Indian. And usually I wouldn't order it. I'd just like have a very little bit of everyone else's. Mm. So this is my first Indian since moving to the area in the Marlin household at my mum and dad's they have like Indian every Friday mm. in lockdown maybe sleeves up mango sauce mango sauce mango chutney is a favourite of mine and this mint sauce is unreal I get too excited when I feel mukbang so I just want to like try everything let's just see what the poppy done's like I asked Emma because as you guys know I've moved to like where Emma's lived basically her whole life. Maybe she's lived here her whole life in this area. Mm. And she said this one's the best so Papa Dom could be crispier. Can't I? I know it sounds crispy but yeah I like to put chutney with my curry. Is that sick? Who knows? <laughs> Um, also, I know I spoke before about doing a spice video. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna film that with Tom. <laughs> um, I just need to sort it out. A company actually reached out to me to ask me to, uh, to ask to send me some spicy stuff, and they do like the spiciest. I don't know crap. I need to figure out who that company was and reply to them. Um, yeah, but we just need to figure out when we're gonna film. Let's just eat one minute. I find it so hard to plan filming with my family now I don't live with them. I'm not going to be able to answer all of them because there's 42 comments. Let's try the barge. Do you know what I really don't like from Indian? Vegetable samosas. Like I love samosas but from the Indian I don't vibe with it. Do you ever feel guilt after eating loads of delicious food? do you have any tips on how to enjoy life with food food freedom i get a lot of questions about this which is probably a subject i avoid a bit too much rice on that wasn't paying attention so oh that's freezing um so i don't but sometimes i do uh it's not guilt I never think like oh I wish I hadn't eaten that or da 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 the only thing I experience is like for example this weekend I'm going on a weekend away and I'll be like if I eat takeaways and 
tomorrow I'm filming and I assume I'm gonna eat loads and I'll be thinking, oh God, I'm gonna, I feel really bloated and my weekend away and I'm not gonna feel good. Does that count as guilt? I don't know because obviously you, you I will feel bloated like, so, I don't know. Why am I eating the oat, like the only th cold thing that's cold? Ah, that's the only time I feel a certain way about eating food is like if I've got something coming up and, and I wanna feel good. Not that I don't feel good, but like, you know, if you're wearing a certain dress or whatever, you wanna feel your best in it. But I mean, in terms of like food freedom, I, I come such a long way. Like I mentioned, I think like six months into YouTube, my relationship with food had changed so much. Like I spoke about um, like body image, which I guess I've literally just said it there. Like, so I guess I do still think about my body image, but not like I used to. Like if I ate this, the next day I would wake up and inspect my body for like however long and be like, oh my God why did you eat that you look fat <laughs> like you look you can see but now i wouldn't feel like that like obviously i'm saying like i want to feel good leading up to an event or whatever but i wouldn't feel or put myself down or be like why did you eat that or da 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 i guess you just have to kind of do it to realize because once i started youtube i realized that thoughts like that were just like all in my head and mainly stemmed from my weight loss you just have to push yourself to eat more what you want. Now I'll just eat anything and I won't think about it the next day, whereas before it would consume my thoughts. Just prove to yourself that food, like, it doesn't have any impact on you. It's natural after you eat loads of food to feel bloated, but it's not natural to put yourself down, to shame yourself, to feel bad about it. Like, definitely not. And that's definitely not something that I ever experienced now. Will you eventually leave your job if YouTube starts bringing in the big bucks? I get so many questions about pay, like when I do Q and A's on Instagram, so many people ask this, when will it be your full time job? How many subscribers will you need to leave? Blah, 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 blah. I have a very long winded answer to this question. So firstly, people that do YouTube and that full time do not just live off ads and like the monetization that we get paid through YouTube. You can earn a lot of money through ads. So when people go, oh, I'm just gonna talk about Squarespace. <laughs> and also off things like affiliate links um, and different things with brands. You may have noticed that I do not do that on my channel. For me personally, I have a full-time job, which is obviously my main source of income, which is like what I was able to get a mortgage from and you know, all that stuff. So I'm quite comfortable with like that being my income. So whilst I'm growing my YouTube, I don't want to be throwing ads in your faces all the time, unless they were ads that fit into my thing. But could you imagine now if I went, oh, oh guys, I've just remembered, I've got to shave my legs tonight. Let me show you this leg shaver. Like, it just wouldn't fit my content, it wouldn't feel right. Um, yeah, I just don't want to be doing that. This is just all personal preference, by the way. So when you say about YouTube bringing you big works, like, if I wanted to leave my job now and do YouTube full time, I happily could. When I was doing three videos a week, I, was earning a lot more. I'm gonna try and be as open and honest because I know that this is like, I, before I did YouTube, like, I wanted to know all of this stuff. But yeah, I was earning quite a, a, a chunk more than my like full-time job. But obviously that doesn't include like tax and stuff. Obviously you get paid the whole money and then you pay tax back at the end of the year. But, now I've got a mortgage, my whole, whole thought process on what I want to do with YouTube has completely changed because I can't really take that risk anymore and I'm too much of a worrier. I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I quit and just lived off YouTube at the minute. I know for a fact I would need to sign with a management company. I don't even need to, but I have to sort my own ads out and I ain't got time for that. Not time, patient, sorry. Or any idea what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, I've thought about it, I've met with a management company that, um, you know, gave me a proposal, which I thought about it and I just thought, it just didn't, it didn't feel right. I've also, um, you know, started to return to the office and 
and I've had a new opportunity in my current role. For me, it felt right to reduce my videos and do both. And that's just like, I don't intend to do, make YouTube my full-time job. Anytime soon, really, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at with that. Um, that was a really long-winded answer. Where's all my sauce gone? What the hell? What do you use on your teeth? They always look so white. Thank you. So, first of all, I get my teeth cleaned to the hygienist every six months. That is so important. Actually going and getting them properly cleaned. And then for whitening strips, I use the um, Mr. Blank whitening strips. You can get them in Superdrug. What is your favourite parts about yourself? Would you say you're confident? And has this changed over time? If so, why? I think you're a stunner. Thank you so much. Um, what's your favourite parts about yourself? Um, physically, I'd say my eyes. Personality-wise, I would say probably my sense of humour. And would you say you're confident? No, not really. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Depends on what the situation is. Overall, no. But like most people I know wouldn't believe that. But I'm really not. I guess the closer people are to me, the more they know I am. Because I just literally freak out anything. Like I wouldn't ever walk in anywhere on my own. I did actually, in 2020, I went to a pub on my own whilst I waited for someone. Which was like a huge achievement for me. But I don't know. Do you ever struggle with bad mental health? Depression, loneliness, anxiety? Any tips, especially for those who aren't as social as you? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get some more of the mint sauce, one minute. I really feel like the lighting's not great, I'm so sorry. I don't even like beer, who am I? Anyway, what was the question? Do you ever struggle? Yeah, unfortunately, um, I've had quite a few struggles over the years. Um, <laughs> like just recently so basically last december like christmas time i started suffering with really bad anxiety and um, i've always suffered with anxiety but sorry i feel like because the camera is quite far away i'm not looking at you guys a lot but i don't know about you but i only ever had anxiety like over something specific so for example like if i had to present something at work or I don't know, my ex-boyfriend was like treating me like shit or something. I never ever just randomly felt anxious for no reason. And last December, I started waking up every morning for like three weeks, I think it was, with such bad anxiety, like, oh, it was, it was honestly horrible. So yeah, during that time, I was just like keeping busy, going for long walks, listening to music doing stuff that made me happy years ago whenever i felt down i used to like listen to sad music and then like make myself even more sad for some bizarre reason um <laughs> but yeah like do things that make you happy but that was really hard because we were in lockdown then and i still um on i think it was saturday i woke up with really bad anxiety i said to my friend i was like, i'm convinced i was convinced when i woke up that someone had died because i was like I feel so anxious that like something bad has happened and it was horrible. Luckily no one had died and the anxiety went away after like an hour of being awake. I did nothing, like I just, I was busy so <laughs> I had to like get up and clean my flat and stuff, that kept my mind busy I guess and then yeah it was fine but um, yeah I, I do quite a bit. I guess like I just force myself to do shit that I don't want to do and it, it goes once you've done it. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, I have um, this like gel or rescue remedy that you can spray in your mouth that I find really helps. Even if it's a placebo effect, I really don't care because it, it makes me feel better. Would you ever go vegan? No. Yeah, that's a really easy question for me. Like, absolutely not. I, I don't eat meat loads anyway, but yeah, I just, um, it's just not for me. Mock meat, I don't really like. Um, 
fake cheese. I went vegan for a month before. And yeah, it's just, it's not that I hated it. It's just like I don't want to have to think about my food like that. I just want to eat what I want. I'm really fussy with food, so like vegan food is just like not for the fussy hearted. If you could live in any other country, where would it be? 100% Spain. I'd love to live in Spain. Like when I'm older, I hope I have a holiday home in Spain, seriously. To me, Spain feels like home because like as when I was growing up, like we went to Spain all the time. It's really close to home. A lot of the people speak English, so um, it means being there a lot easier. I'd love to learn to speak Spanish. Like when I hear Natty Foodie Fitness talking in Spanish, I'm like, damn, like she sounds amazing. I'm like, I want to speak Spanish. Not because she just sounds amazing. I just mean that like, I'd love to be able to speak another language, but my brain probably couldn't handle it. What's your favorite type of video to film? Um, I would say like 24 hour videos. Mukbangs not so much, cause I actually like watching stuff when I eat. Which I know in the 24 hour videos, but I do a lot of time lapses. But yeah, I like to just like drop in and talk shit. Whereas I feel like this is a little bit more formal. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like they're more fun. What are some of your pet peeves? Oh my God, I literally think about this earlier. Slow walkers. Nah, drives me mad. When people are sniffing on the train. Like, I'm not being funny. I was going to do a TikTok about this actually. Like... I literally carry around packs and packs of tissues just because I'm so, like, I just don't want to be sniffing. It really grinds my gears. Um, so, yeah, people, are, like, when they're sniffing on the train. When people don't say thank you. I'm that, t I'm that type of person. You know when, like, someone, like, you hold a door and someone doesn't say thank you. I'm like, thank you! Right, guys, I'm, I'm very, very full um let me see what other questions i've got anything you know when people ask me questions that are like oh do you want any pets no 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 yeah you know when people someone put like what's what's been your highest moments of 2021 like my memory is just so shocking oh i guess by my flat um yeah i guess that's probably a biggest moment right Right, I'm going to end today's video here because I'm absolutely full to the brim. I really do apologise, Ian, about the lighting, the effort I've made for our little date together. But yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I hope I've got nothing in my teeth. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Cheers!